हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन ऑन रैंडम वेरिएबल्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन एग्जांपल ऑन फाइंडिंग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन ऑफ ए कंटिन्यूस रैंडम वेरिएबल इफ यू आर वाचिंग दिस लेक्चर सीरीज फर्स्ट टाइम देन आई सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच लेक्चर नंबर टेन बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दिस लेक्चर इन लेक्चर नंबर टेन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वॉट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन और क्यूमुलेटिव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन of a continuous random variable so before going for this lecture if you have not seen lecture number 10 i suggest you to watch lecture number 10 first and then go for this lecture number 14 so let's start to solve this problem here it is given that the life in hours of a certain kind of radio tube has the probability density given by this function which is एफ एक्स इक्वल टू हंड्रेड ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर इफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड इट इज जीरो एल्स वेड सो दिस इज द प्रॉबलिटी डेंसिटी फंक्शन ऑफ ए रैंडम वेरिएबल विच इज द लाइफ इन आवर्स ऑफ ए सर्टन काइंड ऑफ रेडियो ट्यूब सो दिस इज अवर रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स इक्वल टू द लाइफ इन आवर्स ऑफ ए रेडियो ट्यूब एंड इट्स प्रॉबलिटी डेंसिटी फंक्शन पी डी एफ इज गिवन बाई दिस फॉर्मूला and we are asked to find out corresponding distribution function and using that distribution function we are asked to determine the probability that the life of tube is more than 150 hours so first we write down uh, we denote given random variable by capital x so suppose x denotes the life of life in hours of a certain kind of radio tube or simply life in hours of radio tube so here x is considered as continuous random variable and uh, its probability density function is given by uh, fx so the probability density function of this random variable x is given as एफ एक्स इक्वल टू हंड्रेड ओवर एक्स स्क्वेर इन द केस एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू हंड्रेड एंड इट इज जीरो एल स्क्वेर और इट इज जीरो अदरवाइज सो वी फर्स्ट हैव टू फाइंड आउट डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन और क्यूमुलेटिव डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन ऑफ दिस रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स हुज पी डी एफ इज गिवन बाई दिस एफ एक्स सो वी जस्ट रिकॉल द मीनिंग ऑफ cumulative distribution function or distribution function it is denoted by capital f it is a function from r to r and we define it as f of a equal to probability that x is less than or equal to a and here x is a continuous random variable so this probability is integral of this probability density function fx from minus infinity to a here a is any real number so we must be familiar with this definition using this definition we will uh, find out distribution function of given random variable now uh, if uh, we consider the rough sketch for the given probability density function here fx is given as एफ एक्स इज जीरो इफ एक्स इज लेस देन हंड्रेड एंड एफ एक्स इज हंड्रेड बाई एक्स स्क्वायर इफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सो सपोज अप्रोक्सीमेटली वी कंसिडर से वी आर हियर सपोज दिस डिस्टेंस इज हंड्रेड देन टू दी लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ हंड्रेड अवर फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज जीरो सो ग्राफ ऑफ एफ एक्स इज ऑन एक्स एक्सिस इफ एक्स इज लेस देन हंड्रेड and for x greater than or equal to 100 fx is given by 100 by x square so graph of 100 by x square will look like this okay, so that we can roughly sketch here graph will be going in this way but we are interested in the graph which is after 100 okay so suppose this is 100 so we are not interested in this portion of the graph 
okay because our function is 100 by x square if x is greater than or equal to 100 so for our probability density function uh, we are interested in this area okay, which is to the right side of 100 so you need not sketch the graph of probability density function this is just for understanding now uh, we try to find out distribution function but here function is different in different parts of uh, this uh, real line if x is less than 100 value of fx is 0 if x is greater than or equal to 100 fx is 100 over x square so now our distribution function is a function from r to r so we have to find out value of capital F for this a in different cases because a is any real number so there are possibilities that our number a is to the left side of 100 or it can be to the right side of 100 so there are two possibilities we will consider if a is to the left side of 100 that is a is less than 100 and a is greater than or equal to 100 because function is different for less than 100 and greater than 100 so first we consider the case or first we find out value of this distribution function f of a in the case a is less than 100 and then we will uh, do the same thing for the case of a greater than or equal to 100 okay so first we find out cdf or distribution function if a is strictly less than 100 so for that first we write down the definition definition is f of a equal to minus infinity to a fx dx integral of density from minus infinity to a now if a is less than 100 a will be somewhere here now here we are integrating fx over this interval minus infinity to a so x is less than or equal to a so if an a is less than 100 x is less than or equal to a for this integral and a is strictly less than 100 so that shows that x is less than 100 and if x is less than 100 fx is 0 okay, fx is non-zero only if x is greater than or equal to 100 so here uh, because a is less than 100 and x is less than or equal to a x is less than 100 therefore fx is 0 so we put fx equal to 0 here and integral of 0 is 0 so we have f of a equal to 0 if a is less than 100 the distribution function has value 0 for every a which is less than 100 now we consider second possibility second possibility is if value of a is greater than or equal to 100 so now we are in this portion now we consider a in this portion so here we can see first we write down the by definition f of a is minus infinity to a fx dx so x is less than a here and a is greater than or equal to 100 so we are here so up to 100 value of function is same fx has value 0 up to 100 and after 100 function has different value which is 100 by x square so uh, because here a is greater than or equal to 100 uh, we can break our interval from minus infinity to a into two parts uh, first we go up to 100 because fx has same value up to 100 so this we write as minus infinity to 100 and union uh, we go from 100 to a so integral over minus infinity to a will be equal to integral from minus infinity to 100 plus integral from 100 to a 
so this i can rewrite as sum of two integrals minus infinity to 100 fx dx plus 100 to a fx dx okay we have this type of situation our a is to the right side of 100 so we go up to 100 here because fx has same value up to 100 and then uh, we consider this interval 100 to a minus infinity to 100 plus 100 to a now up to 100 if if we consider x here then if x is less than 100 value of fx is 0 so this integral becomes 0 first we write down fx equal to 0 here and this is going to be 100 to a now here we are integrating x uh, from 100 to a so x is in between 100 and a that means x is greater than or equal to 100 and if x is greater than or equal to 100 value of fx is 100 over x square so here we put 100 over x square because x is greater than or equal to 100 so fx is 100 by x square if x is greater than or equal to 100 now this is 0 integral of 0 is 0 and uh, this we can rewrite as integral from 100 to a this we can rewrite as 100 times x raised to minus 2 dx to integrate and we can use the formula that x raised to minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1 over minus 1 okay, we know that integral of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 if n is not equal to minus 1 here n is minus 2 so using this formula uh, we obtain this value for integral and this we can rewrite as minus 100 over x limits of x are from 100 to a so first we put x equal to a so we have minus 100 divided by a minus we put x equal to 100 so upper limit minus lower limit so this becomes minus 100 divided by a negative negative positive 100 will cancel out and we have 1 minus 100 over a so therefore value of function at a is 1 minus 100 over a if this a is to the right side of 100 a is greater than or equal to 100 so uh, now we combine both the cases so therefore the distribution function or cumulative distribution function of random variable x is f of a equal to we have considered two possibilities a is less than 100 and a is greater than or equal to 100 so if a, a is less than 100 value of f is 0 and if a is greater than or equal to 100 it is 1 minus 100 divided by a uh, if you wish you can use variable x also some authors are writing this in terms of x also so this a is dummy variable instead of a we can write x also 1 minus 100 over x here x is less than 100 okay, so it is our choice whether we want to use a or x i am using a here because here in fx we are using x okay so to make the difference i am using a here so otherwise this these are dummy variables so this is the distribution function of a given continuous random variable now uh, we find out required probability we are asked to determine the probability that the life of tube is more than 150 hours that means we are asked to find out probability that capital X is greater than it is more than 150 hours that means X is greater than 150 okay, so now we find out that probability 
using this uh, distribution function. So now the probability that the life of tube is more than 150 hours is more than 150 hours is equal to probability that x is greater than 150 hours and this we can rewrite as 1 minus probability that x is less than or equal to 150 hours okay because we know that these two events x is greater than 150 and x is less than or equal to 150 are disjoint or mutually exclusive so now this is equal to 1 minus this is nothing but value of distribution function at point 150 okay, we are using this definition that distribution function f of a is given by probability that x is less than or equal to a so here a is 150 so we put uh, this here a equal to 150 now we have obtained formula for distribution function here we are interested in the value of distribution function at 150 that is value of distribution function at point which is greater than 100 so 150 is greater than 100 that means we are here so here we will put x equal to 150 or here we will put a equal to 150 because fx equal to 1 minus 100 over x if x is greater than or equal to 100 now here x is 150 so here we put x equal to 150 and we will obtain 1 minus 100 over 150 so here uh, we write in the bracket 1 minus 100 over x x is 150 okay, so now we can simplify this this is 1 minus 1 plus 100 over 150 so this one will cancel out we can cancel out this also uh, we can cancel out 5 also so we have 2 by 3 okay, here 5 will cancel out here also so probability that this life of tube is more than 150 hours is nothing but 2 divided by 3 okay so in this way we can use distribution function to determine certain type of probabilities and uh, uh, we can find out distribution function from given probability density function in this way Okay, so this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.